And welcome back. In today's problem, we're going to find the energy or the average power for the signal X of T. To find the energy of the signal, we have the equation, the limit at which T approaches infinity, integrating the signal from negative T to T and finding the average power. Um, as always, we want to take the absolute value of the signal X of T squared and then integrate. We have the average power, which is the limit at which t approaches infinity and 1 over 2t. And same thing, we take the integral of the signal, the absolute value of the signal x of t squared from some negative to positive, or just over an interval, whatever interval um, the signal x of t will be taken over. In this case, the signal x of t will be taken from 0 to infinity because of the unit step signal, which is which bound the exponential, the decaying exponential depending on what values of in what values of t for negative um, numbers of t, the signal x of t grows and for positive it decays. In this case, it will decay or converges to a certain number because of u of t. So we then approach the problem by taking the absolute value of x of t squared. In this case, the absolute value of e to the negative 2t is still e to the negative 2t. Squaring that, we get e to the negative 4t. That's the first part of the problem. Notice in both equations, we have the same integration going on. So we can do that first. We can integrate. You could put in put it in your calculator, or you can do it by hand. In this case, I'll do it by hand. Four, and that's zero to infinity because of the unit step signal. So in this case, the unit step signal looks like this at zero. One, two, three, boom. And it if it's in this is continuous time, so let's let's use a rectangle or a line, I should say, at 1, and this continues to infinity. And we can use a rectangle, still a rectangle at 1. And this is u of t. This is 0. And yes, so 0 to infinity. Now that is equal to e to the negative or positive infinity is 0. And we have 0 minus so that's minus the negative moves up from the four in the denominator that goes to a positive so that's e to zero is one so that's one over four one over four so we know that the energy for the signal x of t is equal to the limit at which t approaches infinity correct the integration for that was one fourth, and we know that it's going to equal to one fourth. Notice that E, the energy of this signal is less than infinity, less than infinity. So we know thus the power, the average power for this signal will be equal to zero. Let's not stop it there, but let's prove that. So if we go to the average power equation, which is the limit at which t approaches infinity, and that is 1 over 2t, we know that e, the energy, is 1 fourth, which is the same in this case. Well, not the same, but let's just go, let's go just, let's do this. So 2t, and if we integrate, this expression, we know we get one fourth. So that's one fourth. In this case, we know that one fourth over one half t, we're going to equal that. It's going to equal to one half two t. Well, one over two t. So thus, the energy at which uh, the limit t approaches infinity, one over two t is going to equal to zero because as t approaches infinity, two times infinity is still infinity and that's equal to zero. So thus the average power
for the signal x of t is zero and that's a important um, class of signal which is one of the first um, classes of signal and this class of signal is um, for any signal that the average power is less than infinity such a signal must have zero average power and that's it um, for today's problem i'll see you in the next video bye